everybody, it's Brent Central Arkansas. We're going to talk about cucumbers now. This is a dehybridization of Sweet Success cucumber. It's a parthenocarpic gynaceous cucumber. And what that means is it will grow without being pollinated, parthenocarpy, and it grows a female on every node instead of a male. So a lot of cucumbers, they'll put a male on here instead of a female, but these grow a female on every node. Now I think this is my fourth selection of this. In order to um, breed it for the next generation, you have to take a branch off of the cucumber, root it, and then when it's rooted you have to cut it, and then you have to change the sex you do that with the chemical uh, it's a natural hormone but you spray it on there and it'll start producing male flowers and you breed the male flowers from the same plant back to the female flowers anyway a little complicated but I I believe I have a video on that already so I planted three I just wanted some cucumbers and I was going to do it this spring which I'm going to but this one is looking very very promising right here it's got the length that I want uh, the uniformity throughout and it's growing fantastic one at each node all female no males the one in the middle here is a little bit weak so I'm, I'm not care liking that one we'll go ahead and let it grow for cucumbers and the one on the right here is looking good as well but it's got that weirdness to it as it's starting to grow now this will get really big and long here very very soon and the way they grow is the first two or three will start growing and none of the others above it. All these other little ones coming up here and here and up higher even like here, those will not grow until you harvest the ones below. But once you harvest one or two, it starts producing more. Uh, the ones that aren't growing will start growing, which is kind of cool. The one over here that, whoop, there it goes. That's the other thing I was going to talk about. Um, this one here that I like a lot, it has a really thick stem. And compared to this one over here, so that to me is telling me that it's very hardy and it wants to be here. So I'm really liking this one here. So as you notice, this just kind of collapsed right in front of your eyes here. I'm taking little cucumbers they create a tentacle not a tentacle it's um, golly the word escapes me I'm not gonna even try right now but it creates these that come out and they wrap around like it's done here with the string to create support for the cucumbers well I break those off and the reason why I break them off is because I want them to fall back down in this type of grow situation so that I can loop it back upwards on the same string or, this, or another string. And that way I can get all this height, come back down, and loop it back up again, and I can keep doing that. As the older leaves get older and the cucumber fruit on the lower side is harvested, you just remove those leaves and you just keep cycling it up and down like that for as long as the plant will allow it. <laughs> or is, until you get tired of eating cucumbers. So that's what I'm doing. I, need, I do need to get a tomato clip because I don't want it resting on something sharp like the string right here cut into it. But that's how I'm growing cucumbers in the grower. There's the tomato clip on here. It just makes it where it's not a sharp bend into the string. There's one thing else I wanted to mention here that I forgot and that is one of these little um, suckers just like a tomato grows at every single node the same exact place that these tentacles <laughs> tentacles dang it <laughs> I'll put what they are in the video but the same place that one of these grows and the same thing in ba same place a baby cucumber grows all three grow on every single node so I remove the leaf and the little tentacle for lack of a better word every single node because if I didn't this thing would be shooting suckers and growing like mad everywhere this thing would just take over in a matter of days 
So that's growing cucumbers in the grow room. I got three plants growing and these things will absolutely make all the cucumbers Gina and I would eat. In fact, two would be more than enough and one would probably suffice. And I love cucumbers too. This thing is a machine, machine. Love it. Brent, we'll see you later.